This one almost sounds a little bit trite because it's so it's been used in hypes for so long. But there are AI opportunities and with with this data, so that um, you know you can, with machine learning models, automate and predict some things that right now humans are doing too much of. I don't believe that in the next five years we're going to have AI replicate what a you know, first class SRE does in troubleshooting these production systems. It's like, you know, there's a reason why these engineers are so talented and hard, so hard to find. Um, and, and so um, let's not overplay the hand with what AI will do, but there is more and more that AI is and will be doing it um, around uh, reducing noise on alerts, um, correlating problems, accelerating time to diagnose and, and fix and root cause. But the, I think the other thing that is being less talked about is there is so much value in the data that is being collected. I think there are opportunities for new classes of applications to be built on the data. And so we love um, Grafana's dashboards. We have our own dashboards. We feel like dashboards are the primary way in which this data is being presented to people. I'm excited about what, how do you make it easier for developers to build new applications on top of the data so that if you can just write a React component, you can do more than present a visualization, you can actually write a rich application that might be able to show you new things about your digital business and or interact with the digital business in a way that um, might cost more than 10, 10 times to build if you're doing it from scratch. Um, and so we're, we're focused on that as well. Yeah, I, I agree that, um, you know, the the hype around AI and machine learning is is pretty high. Um, you know, we joke that every time someone mentions uh, AI or ML, like, uh, you know, that person has to do a, a shot of vodka, um, <laughs> which, uh, which isn't a good rule um, at Grafana Labs because it greatly <laughs> reduces our productivity. Um, but that being said, I think one of the things we're really focused on is, you know, kind of to lose to lose point. There's so much data that are coming out that's coming out of these, uh, you know, complex distributed systems that we're really focusing on the the workflow um, and the, the sort of troubleshooting experience and the journey from metrics to logs to traces, right? So we released a, uh, an open source project called Loki uh, about uh, uh, a year and a half ago that's kind of like Prometheus, but for logs. Um, we're about to release another open source project uh, in the tracing space. And so we're really trying to connect a journey um, and make it a seamless experience for people to um, essentially get to the root of an issue by transitioning very easily between metrics and logs and traces. Um, and we really wanna optimize for the, the poor SRE who's you know, gotten paged at 3 a.m. and uh, you know, she's trying to troubleshoot a you know, production issue and blurry eyed and having to log into all these different tools. And um, you know, the, the experience and the unified context that uh, is something that we're really focused on there and you know, kind of optimizing for 3 a.m and uh, preserving a lot of, uh, basically having an optimal flow in that experience is, uh, is something that, that we're really interested in and investing a lot in.